San Diego, the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter's first operational squadron to be located at Marine Corps Air Station Yuma, a squadron that falls under the 3rd Marine Aircraft Wing headquartered here at MCAS Miramar. NBC7's military reporter Leah Sutton was in Yuma today and has an exclusive look at the military's most advanced airplane. Well, here in the Arizona desert, the pilots of Marine Fighter Attack Squadron 121 are growing with the F-35. It's the military's newest operational aircraft, so new, in fact, that even the squadron's most senior officer has only been flying it since January. Welcome to Marine Corps Air Station Yuma, home of the first operational F-35 squadron the world's only supersonic stealth short takeoff and landing aircraft. Uh, it's a uh, fifth generation fighter and the new uh, aircraft in the DOD inventory. Captain Jack Cronin recently transitioned from flying the AV-8B Harrier to the F-35. In the Marine Corps, it's replacing the Harrier and several other aircraft with multi-mission capabilities. To be able to uh, combine all those capabilities uh, into one aircraft, which is what the F-35 does, and it does it pretty well. Um, that, and that's what we need to, to move forward and to be able to uh, you know, maintain a step ahead of our uh, potential adversaries. A squadron mate demonstrates its short takeoff and landings, while Captain Cronin explains how the F-35 advances the Marine Corps' mission. Our main purpose uh, as Marine Corps aviators uh, is to support the Marines on the ground, uh, close air support. So that allows us the capability to operate off those expeditionary airfields uh, and, uh, and uh, LHD-class ships and get closer into the fight. And how different versions of this aircraft will redefine the multi-mission fighter for the Navy and Air Force also. Uh, the mission is similar to legacy platforms, combined all into one, so uh, close air support, interdiction, deep air uh, strikes, uh, using that stealth capability. Though behind schedule and over budget and criticized for its safety and capabilities, Cronin says it's pilot friendly and our military's aircraft of the future. Uh, it's a, uh, a good aircraft, um, has many capabilities uh, that will take us well into the future um, and uh, it is sorely needed throughout uh, not only the DOD but especially the Marine Corps. The F-35 continues to be tested and developed across its range of missions, and we can expect to see F-35s from Yuma and our San Diego skies as early as within the next year. The Marine Corps plans to eventually establish F-35 squadrons at MCAS Miramar. Reporting from MCAS Yuma.